All right, everybody, welcome back for our final media availability of the night. We have Brandon Stevens here from SMU. Brandon, congratulations on being drafted by the Ravens. As we've done in the past, we ask that everybody use the raise hand function. If you have a question, then we'll call on you. So to start it off, we'll go with Jeff Zarebeck. Hey, Brandon, congratulations. Um, can you talk about your emotions tonight? And, you know, when the Ravens called and told you they were drafting you, know, were, were they kind of a team where you expected you could land? Yeah, man. Um... You know, my, my emotions were, were all over the place, you know, honestly, um, just to just to see my, my phone light up and see the Baltimore area code. It was um, man, it was great. It was great. And just to, you know, talk to Coach Harbaugh on the phone. It was um, man, I, I don't even know how to explain it, man. But um, and I actually, you know, woke up this morning and I, um, my mom was sitting at the, the kitchen table and I, you know, I said, you know, uh, Baltimore might be one of the teams I go to. Uh, and so just to you know, see it happen um, and, and, and it come to fruition is, is, is amazing. Luke Jones. Hey, Brandon, congratulations. Uh, you're joining a, a really deep group of cornerbacks, a lot of veteran experience, a lot of success. How much are you looking forward to being able to learn from guys like Marlon Humphrey and Marcus Peters and Jimmy Smith? Man, I can't wait. I can't wait. Those are, you know, um, um, you know, the names that you just mentioned, you know, they're, 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 you know, great at what they do. And, um, you know, I, I have a ton to learn from them and, um, and, you know, just, just to, you know, better my game. So I definitely can't wait to uh, get into that, into that room with them and, and, you know, and, and help, you know, um, help the, help the organization, you know, win games. Ryan Mink. Congrats, Brandon. Uh, just wanted to know the story behind why you wanted to switch from running back to cornerback. Yeah, man, I've, uh, you know, I've always had a love, you know, for defense and, and, and playing DB, you know, I played a little bit in, uh, in high school. So that's, that's where my uh, love for the, for the position, you know, really started. Um, and, you know, I just really felt like it was the, uh, you know, the, just the, the uh, better option for me. Um, I felt, you know, it was, that's where my head was at. That's where my passion was. And so, you know, um, you know, I just had to bet on myself and, and, you know, go with where my heart was at. We'll go to Jamison Hensley. Um, with the move, staying along the lines of the move to, to corner, by being drafted in the NFL, I mean, third round, do you feel that kind of validates your decision to, to make that move? I mean, going from running back at UCLA to, to cornerback, as a, I mean, that's a pretty tremendous move. Do you think getting drafted, that validates everything for you? Man, it, it, you know, it definitely does. You know, um, you know there, was, there was a lot of doubters, you know, when I uh, made the move and, you um, you know, some people, you know, didn't, didn't understand why I was making a move, but I, you know, I did. And, and this, this, just, this just goes to prove, you know, what my, um, what, what, what I saw and what my vision, you know, vision was going forward. We'll go to Daniel Oifusi. Hey, Brandon, congratulations on getting, uh, getting picked. Obviously you're coming to a team where you have familiarity with uh, James Prochet. I, I think he tweeted out a congratulations. Um, just what is your relationship relationship like with them and how did he help you um, kind of along this uh, pre-draft journey? Oh yeah, James, he, that's, that's my boy, man. He was uh, uh, actually right when I got the call, you know, I, I tell we were, we were texting, you know, throughout the draft um, um, today's, you know, draft and, um, you know, I, you know, I just texted him, let's go, man. And, um, but that's my boy, man. He, we, we, uh, we competed, you know, uh, you know, every, every practice, you know, um, at SMU and, um, you know, we, we just try to make each other better. And so just to team up back, back with him, uh, one of my brothers is, is an amazing feeling. Jonas Schaefer. Hey, Brandon, congratulations, man. Uh, could you just talk about the, the challenges of making that switch uh, from running back to cornerback. I mean, you're going from studying one part of the playbook to an entirely different playbook. And just what has been the, the biggest challenge for you and what have you embraced about, uh, about everything that's coming your way? Yeah, I mean, uh, when, I, when I made the transition, I knew it was going to be, you know, a challenge. Um, but it wasn't a challenge that I was, um, you know, going to step away from, you know. And so um, for me, it was just, you know, focusing on the playbook <clears throat> and, you know, just – just focusing on the playbook and, and, you know, just learning the terminology at SMU because this is my first time learning a, a, a defensive playbook. You know, um, when I came to SMU, the only thing I knew was was man coverage. So um, I would say that was, you know, the, the um, one, one of the challenges at first. Okay, we have time for two more. We'll go to Jeff Serebeck first and then round it out with Garrett Downing. And then um, we asked uh, Eric DaCosta about where 
you know, cornerback safety? Uh, how comfortable are you moving around in different roles in that secondary? Yeah, man, uh, you know, I pride myself in, in playing multiple positions. You know, I play corner, uh, nickel, and uh, and safety. And so, you know, wherever, you know, the, um, you know, the, the, the team needs me to play, you know, I'm, I'm willing to play. All right, Garrett, go ahead. Hey, Brandon, congratulations. Uh, could you, you know, just talk about kind of the uh, nervousness maybe that you felt at maybe the end of the third round? Like, where did you expect to get drafted? And as you're getting close to the end of this day, kind of what were the emotions going through your mind? Uh, were, were you always expecting to go in the third round? Just kind of what were the thoughts at that point? Yeah, I was, uh, you know, so I was I was expecting to go in the third, um, you know, to it, it was kind of, you know, the emotions were, were like I said, were all over the place. Um, but yeah, I was I was definitely expecting to go in the third.